Morning y'all, here back at checking the traps over here by the house today. Um, we had this coyote set out for, I don't know, going on two weeks probably. I'll turn you around here real quick. I had this set out, caught a possum like day two. And we set it right after we had uh, had some snow and I don't remember sure, a little colder weather or something, but uh, the reason I sat here on top of the levee, there's a creek right there, and there's a heavy game trail comes up here, and then uh, over here, oh yeah, they can go right over here, they can go a little bit along the top of the, like right, out, right across there, they can go across the top, and then they still gotta end up going down the field. Well, in that snow, there was three sets of tracks came out across the field about oh about halfway from that little ditch that they worked on until up there that fresh dirt and there's three sets of tracks going all the way across they came right up here and right through here and went down this trail well then over here coming down this levee on this side there's at least two sets came down and went I think they went down this trail as well but they um i mean there was there were a bunch of tracks here well this thing's been sitting here that long and only caught a possum i caught one coon down here i put a put a coon trap or a dog proof down here i got one over there somewhere right, right along the edge of the grass uh to try to keep them out of here but we still ain't still ain't caught no no coyotes so um i was i was expecting a little bit more fur this morning because yesterday the load was yesterday morning when i left the house it was like 15 and then it warmed up this morning i think it's like 30. so i was expecting more fur and yeah, we moved some traps yesterday so i'm expecting a little bit more anyways but seeing these two seeing these two guys one of the first checks we got i'm expecting we're going to get more than i expected so we got to move on and get these taken care of and uh get these remade and then see what else we got if we got as much as as it looks like we might we're gonna have a full day, so see y'all around. Got us another coon up here in a dog proof where we uh, did a little predator control on a for a neighbor uh, on a deer hunting farm, and he's got cattle over here too. But uh, we just set this yesterday. Just had a couple of them. Didn't have nothing down there, but uh, this one. It's on a point, you can see, like, timber comes out, and there it goes back in a little bit. Um, but we came up through here, along this edge, and we see this trail, going right there, right behind the coon, you can see that trail going down through there, which he destroyed the end of it. It was, it was like, it was actually more visible back there, or up front, than it was back through there. But, um, Oh, just look at all these tracks over here. I mean, there's coon tracks everywhere. And he goes across. You can kind of see, um, I don't know, it kind of looks maybe washed a little bit across there. But then there's another point right there. So we didn't put no trap over there because it would, we didn't really see a whole lot of, of uh, trail. But then up there on the point up there, we put another trap. But haven't checked it yet. But, um, yeah, it, I knew we'd catch something up here in one of these traps, but it, I mean, definitely, there's a lot of coon up here, just, just getting late enough in the season that, I don't know, don't see no rubbing going on on them, but it's getting late enough that they're going to start rubbing here pretty quick if they're not already started, so, but we'll get them taken care of and go see what else. Oh, got another coon up here at this coyote set. 
So apparently I ought to put me uh, dog proof or something over here try to get them before they get in here. But probably part of the reason we ain't catching no coyotes is coons and possum get in everything before the coyotes get here. But um, we'll get him taken care of and then we'll go check our beaver traps. Well guys, I'm just a little bit disappointed. Set these three beaver traps yesterday. I figured we'd have at least two of them this morning. And get here to check them and there ain't nothing. I mean it warmed up some so like kinda kinda figured they'd get out and go do all their caster mounds and all that stuff, but that one's still set underneath there. And then that one over there is still set. And I don't really see, well, there's bubbles out there, but I kind of think that's about like it was yesterday, so. Uh, first I thought maybe I had another hole they came out and I was looking at the bubbles and I couldn't really, it, it don't really look like there was any more activity, so. Kind of bummed out, but that's the way it goes when you're trapping, so. Anyway, we'll see y'all on the, I guess tomorrow, when we go checking these traps, I guess we'll see you tomorrow, so. Thanks for watching.